Loosen the three jam nuts on the seal ring adjusting studs. Turn the three adjusting studs sequentially, one third turn of each stud at a time, until the suction seal ring is withdrawn completely into the suction sideliner. Loosen the two adjusting nuts on the inboard side of the adjustment plates on either side of the power frame. Loosen the hold down bolts that clamp the adjustment plate to the pedestal. Turn the two outboard adjusting nuts on either side of the power frame sequentially, one half turn of each nut at a time, to draw the power frame and impeller toward the volute liner. Turn the shaft clockwise as the adjusting nuts are turned to determine when the impeller contacts the volute liner. Stop when a firm drag is encountered. Loosen the two outboard adjusting nuts. Turn the two inboard adjusting nuts against the adjustment plate a half turn of each nut at a time to draw the power frame and impeller forward until there is a gap as specified in the manual, plus an additional three quarters of a millimeter between the impeller and the volute liner. A dial indicator may be used. Tighten the hold down bolts that clamp the adjustment plate to the pedestal. Tighten the two outboard adjusting nuts that were previously loosened, then turn the three adjusting studs sequentially, one third turn of each stud at a time, until the suction seal ring firmly contacts the impeller. Lock the adjusting studs in place by tightening the jam nuts against the suction casing. Loosen the two inboard adjusting nuts, then loosen the hold down bolts that clamp the adjustment plate to the pedestal. Turn the two outboard adjusting nuts against the adjustment plate, one half turn of each nut at a time, to draw the power frame and impeller rearward approximately three quarters of a millimeter. Tighten the hold down bolts that clamp the adjustment plate to the pedestal. Tighten the two inboard adjusting nuts.